<laughs> Baba Yaga, go. Baba Yaga, the Flying Witch. This story is about a witch called Baba Yaga, a little girl called Pasha, a magic cat, a doll, a cat, and a magic doll. Once upon a time, in a far off land, lived a little girl called Pasha. Her mother died when she was very young. But before she died, she gave her daughter a tiny doll. Keep her in your pocket. Give the doll food and water if you're ever in danger, she said. She will help you. A few years later, Pasha's father married again. A new wife for me, a new mother for Tasha, he thought. But his new wife had other ideas. One morning, she waited for Tasha's father to go to market. Then she called for Tasha. While I'm out, I want to go to Baba Yaga's hut in the forest. Ask her for a needle and thread. But Baba Yaga is a witch. Tasha sat on the doorstep and took her doll from her pocket. She gave her a little piece of bread and a sip of water. The little doll ate. The little doll drank. Then her eyes lit up like stars. Little doll, little doll, said Tasha. Stepmother has sent me to the witch's hut. She eats children as if they were chickens. What shall I do? Take some bread for Baba Yaga's dog, said the doll, and some ham for Baba Yaga's cat. Do not fear, I will protect you. Tasha packed the ham and bread. Then she set out through the deep, dark forest. Soon, a wild wind began to blow. Oh no! The trees creaked, their branches groaned. Tasha looked up and saw Baba Yaga zooming through the forest in a flying pot. She pushed herself along with a wooden spoon and wiped away her tracks with a long wooden broom. Pasha followed her to a strange little hut. It twirled around on chicken legs and winked at Tasha with its window-like eyes. Baba Yaga stood in front of her hut and said, Magic cut, magic cut, turn around, bend your legs and touch the ground. The magic cut spun around on his body, bunny legs, bony, bony legs, and replied, I can dance, I can see, a little girl in front of me. Aha! said Baba Yaga. What have we here? But, but please, said Tasha, my stepmother sent me for a needle and thread. Baba Yaga smiled a dreadful smile. Her mouth was full of iron teeth. Her hair was greasy. Her hands were warty. Her nose reached down to her chin. Oh no. I can help you, croaked Baba Yaga. But first, you must sweep my hut. Baba Yaga called for her maid. Make me a nice big fire, he said. I'm going to eat that little girl for lunch. Inside the hut, Tasha began to sob. I don't want to be eaten, she cried. Then give me 
if I can, said a skinny black cat, and I'll help you. Eat it all. Thank you. Now, run away as fast as you can, purred the cat. But first, take these. Baba Yaga will chase you. When you hear her coming, throw down this mirror. If she keeps coming, throw down this comb. Tasha took the mirror and the comb and ran outside where Baba Yaga's big black dog was waiting. It snarled, it growled, it showed its sharp teeth. And Tasha threw it the bread. Keep running, barked the dog. Keep running! Back came Baba Yaga. Are you sleeping, little girl? Yes, I'm sleeping, hissed the cat. Baba Yaga leaped into her hurt. Hut, where's the girl? She screamed at her cat. Why did you help her? That girl gave me hand to eat. I served you a long time, said the cat. But you never given me food. Baba Yaga raced out to her dog. Why didn't you stop her? She shouted. I've served you for a long time, said the dog. But you never given me food. That girl gave me bread to eat. Baba Yaga didn't wait a moment longer. She jumped into her pocket. She pushed off with a wooden spoon, and she flew off, sweeping away her tracks with her long wooden broom. Thump, 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 went the spoon. Swish, 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 went the broom. Baba Yaga's coming, cried the little doll. Tasha threw down the mirror. It became a wide, wide River. Curses! cried Baba Yaga. She bent her bon bony body and drank and drank and drank. Soon there wasn't a drop of water left. Then once again Tasha heard the thumping spoon and swishing broom. Baba Yaga's coming! cried the little doll. Tasha threw down the calm. A huge mountain sprang up behind her. Curses! cried Baba Yaga. She began to chew through the mountain. But her iron teeth were rusty from drinking the wide, wide river. Once by one, one by one, one by one, her iron teeth snapped. Ugh. Curses, said Baba Yaga. I can't fly over the mountain. I'll have to go back. With a thump, 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 and a swish, 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 Baba Yaga stepped back to her magic hut. Tasha didn't stop running until she reached home. Her father rushed out to meet her. Where have you been? he asked. Stepmother sent me to Baba Yaga's hut, said Tasha, and the witch tried to me eat me. <gasps> then it's time your stepmother left, said her father, and she threw her out of the house. Oh! She was never even seen again. The end. Mama, who